Hey everyone, Force Free Star here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your B Real app if it's not working, if you're having any issues on your iPhone. So let's get started. So, the very first thing you want to do if you're still having issues with the B Real is first pull down the control menu or pull it up and put your phone on airplane mode briefly and turn it off. And that does a quick network refresh. So, if it's an internet connectivity issue causing issues with the B Real app, it will fix it. Now, the next thing you want to do is if you have it open, either just swipe up with your finger and find the B Real app or click on the home button to see the app and then we're going to swipe it up to close it out and then we're going to relaunch it to make sure that it's not frozen or stuck and this will go ahead and refresh the app as well. Now the next thing you want to check if you're still having issues is that if there's an update out for the app you want to go to the app store on your iPhone so find the app store app and then once you find the app store app just simply search up I'll be real just like that and once you search it up and you're going to click on it and if there is an update available it will say the word update here you're going to click on it and update the app itself it's good to update the app especially if there's a new uh, app update that comes out maybe there's a fix for it for an issue that you're having so you're going to go ahead and update it and it will go ahead and download the latest update within a fix quickly and then once it does update it you should see here it will go ahead and update it we'll see the update here and then you can also see once it's been updated, we're just going to wait for the word open. Now, if you see the word that says open instead of update, that means your phone is already up to date. You can't do anything there. The next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is be go ahead and open up the app itself. From there on, what you're going to do is go ahead and click on your profile up top here and then click on these three dots up here as well. Now, once you have done that, the next thing you want to do is go down here uh, so you're going to go down to the setting that says others and you're going to look to see if there's an option that says clear cache. I don't have any cache but there will be an option if there is cache that you need to clear and you're just going to simply click on that. Now along with that after you have clear cache and if still having issues with it the next thing you want to do is go ahead and sign out and then sign back in. Of course mine's not having issues so I don't need to sign out but you're going to sign out and then just sign back in to make sure that it's not a account issue and that will fix it as well. And then if you're still having the issue the next thing you want to do is force restart your iPhone. In order to do that you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button just like that and do not slide to power off like it says just keep on holding that side button and we're going to wait until we can see the Apple logo appear again here the screen went black which is fine just keep on holding it and then let go of it and all we have done is basically force the phone to shut down and reload the code so if it's a software related issue with the phone or the app causing the app not to work it will fix it for you again really simple and easy fix to do and this method will not delete any of your personal data on your iPhone like your photos videos apps and such and then go ahead and get back into your iPhone now once you're back in your iPhone and you're still having issues with the app as well whether you can't um, it's frozen stuck or it just simply isn't working the way it should you might want to consider deleting and reinstalling the app so in order to delete it you're going to press and hold click on remove click on delete app and then click on delete and don't worry your account will not be deleted it's just the app you're deleting and then you're going to go back to the app store and reinstall a new uh, version of it so we're going to go ahead and make sure that we can Go ahead and click on it and then you're going to see this bureau app. Just click on that cloud pointing downward and it's going to simply reinstall a fresh copy on your phone so that if there was an issue with the previous app on it, it will fix it. Now other thing you also want to do is that if you're still having issues is to make sure your phone has enough storage. So in the settings here, go to general and then where it says iPhone storage here, here you need at least a couple gigs of available storage. Sometimes uh, because the way Vireo app works, it requires storage to be able to download and upload uh, media like photos and such. You want to make sure you have enough storage. So if you're low on it, consider deleting some of the other uh, stuff like long format videos or photos and some apps to clear up some space to give it an, some space to be able to work correctly. And then last thing you want to do is go ahead and update your phone settings. So go into your settings, go to general, software update and check if there's update available. If there is, it's going to say update now. You're going to go update your phone software because sometimes previous version might have caused the issue where some apps are not working and updating your phone is always a good idea to fix those issues. And that's it. All these troubleshooting steps should fix your Bureau app now. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your 
uh, apps and other uh, media on your iPhone. I hope this video is helpful. So again, hit that like and subscribe button. See you guys next time.